Syria's government and the opposition were finally able to sit at the same table for talks in Geneva on Saturday. Their main concern at the long-awaited meeting was getting humanitarian aid to besieged areas. On Sunday, they, were, they are due to tackle prisoner releases. Artis Yegor Piskunov reports. They face one another and they talk to one another. A format simply impossible to imagine even at the beginning of the week. Just 24 hours before the start of the conference, the opposition couldn't decide whether to go to Switzerland or not. And when they finally did arrive... I think that Assad is the problem and Assad, I, I don't think the problem will be any solution without Assad going from power, stepping down. It became clear both sides had a completely different understanding of the talk's goals. The rebels pressed for Assad to step down. Officials seemed to be ready to talk about almost anything except the president's future. But at least outside players agreed this is strictly up to the Syrians to decide. The Syrians themselves had the primary responsibility to end the conflict, determine their political system and future, and start rebuilding their country. But when world powers left and direct talks were supposed to begin, the opposition refused to sit down at the same table with the other side. We came here to talk, and they are not ready. Finally, when it seemed the negotiations were a complete bust, Special Envoy to Syria Lakdar Brahimi announced he did manage to get both sides to meet. And so they finally did, negotiating through him, but still in the same room and face to face. Prisoners and kidnappings, humanitarian aid and localized ceasefires were the first issues on the table, with more pressing topics awaiting discussion. Despite all the emotions, accusations and preconditions we've heard this week, these talks are the first real chance for a diplomatic solution in Syria. And after nearly three years of bloodshed and ongoing violence, it will be a bumpy road and there's a long way to go. But the first steps in the right direction have definitely been made. Igor Piskonov, RT, Geneva, Switzerland.